G'day everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Uh, it is the morning of day 35, we're expecting our horde. Um, it is 3 o'clock in the morning and I started because we have got ourselves a vulture horde and there was one flittering around the base so I thought I would uh, gloriously kill it on camera for you. I've actually already dispatched one because it came at me as I came out the door of... Uh, our humble home, so keep an eye on these two and hope he comes in for a bit of a attack run. No, can't entice him. Is he hanging out over our, uh, our new secret entrance? Um, but I don't think he really wants to come in for the uh, come in for the attack, which is a bit disappointing. So. Uh, I think we'll have to go and get him. He doesn't know oh, he's coming over a bit more. Come on. You can do it. You know you want to. That's it. Good boy. Come on. Ah, short of the base. I'll have to go out and harvest him shortly. That's alright, it's nearly four o'clock in the morning. We were just uh Harvesting, Ooh. harvesting the farm. Plenty of coffee. Plenty of corn, all that good stuff. Hops, so we can make some beer. Uh, going well. Okay, so the overwhelming response was to keep going with this world until it becomes unplayable. There are a couple of bugs that I've noticed. Um, Ammo crafting in the workbench I wasn't getting full value for. I did get the full value for those, but I tried to craft 500, craft some of these um, 9mm ammos, and I took the resources, but then didn't give me any, um, didn't give me the number I asked for, which was disappointing. Now we're not going to replant these just yet, we're going to put these in our farming chest, bullet tips, two. Um, feathers, um, the bullet tips we, oh sorry, as far as the farming goes, I'm going to take a bit of a risk here, let me see if we can get that vulture. Beautiful. Now we've got some. Now we'll just do our last minute horde prep jobs. Uh, one thing I want to do is look at moving the. Look at moving the spotlights. Uh, so I'm not particularly keen on where they've ended up. Um. So we're going to move those, try and move those around, um, because they're not giving very good coverage once the horde starts, so we need to find a better, uh, whoa, jeepers, oh, they're straight off the edge there, we need to find a better situation for the spotlights, now whether that's I wonder if we can put spotlights upside down. We need to look at that. If we can mount them up under there, that would be slightly more helpful. Um, so I think we'll look at that. Uh, the other thing we want to do today, we might do some more sort of roughing out the wall. Picked up one of the wall box while I was doing the farm. What I would like to do is um, get to work on this side, because uh, this side's also going to be a farm. So, the plan was to have two matching farms, and then I'm not sure about the little bits in between on either end, um, whether they'll be sort of decorative 
Hmm, so we can't pick that one up. That's a bit picky. Hmm. Think about picking up spotlights. pick up the spotlight. Um, I'll just knock that one down. How much did we lose on that? Uh, duct tape, damn it. Iron I don't care about. Electrical parts I don't care about. Headlights with plenty. It's duct tape that about not being able to pick those up. Um, if anyone knows how to pick one of those up, that would be great. Uh, if I'm missing something, that would be awesome if I am. I'm going to make a better wrench, I just realised. Uh, yep, beautiful. 404 wrench. Thank you very much. And one spotlight. Yeah. Let's do a quick test to see if this can actually it's poor day, so we're just gonna turn the Well they've run out of juice. Uh, our steel forge is still trucking. I might be able to get away with having one forge on. Uh, I might just turn off this thing. This is doing our brass mod. Slowly doing our brass mod. Um, just turn him off, so. We'll run the, ru run the run forge. Run the one forge and see if we can avoid extreme tastic results. Right. Let's see. We come here. Flipping block, like the bleeping um, auto turrets, where we can't chuck a rotate on them, which does kind of suck. That's an annoyance, folks. Alright. That's a proper annoyance. Um, yeah. I'll have a look at this. Not, not crazy about these wires. We've got to do something about the wiring. Uh, we definitely have to do something about the wiring here, because I don't like it. Um, those posts have got to come down and become something other than wood. Um, Alright, so... How do we want to play this? Ooh, it was just a 
flagstone block there. I have to deal with that. Um, in fact, let's go and get our concrete. See if we can't deal with that. Um, all right. So this is going to mean we're going to start laying out our next uh, part of the sort of outer wall. Um, some of that, some of that, some of that. Okay, so we don't have any flagstone blocks. Alright, so we'll need to make some of those for the farm. Good, we've got our garage door. That from down here. So I'll quickly run along and do this. Good. Make sure all sides are done. Very nice. Do something about the rest of the house, make it look nice and even. Um, cool. Not get barbed wire. Oh, that's, nah. You know what? I might as well get the barbed wire because we'll lay some more. Um, barbed wire. Yeah, so next part of the D is going to be, pardon the pun, the next part is going to be where we put our blade traps and all that good stuff. So, I want them in the, now I'm not sort of, <laughs> It does, does, yeah, it does mean we're going to have to re... Oh, sorry. Um, Rejig our electric fence a little bit, because A, our electric fence isn't straight, and B, there's some gaps I'm not keen on. So, I think if it was me, what I'd like to do... How I'd like it to go... I'd like the fence to run straight here, and I think that's what we're ultimately going to do, is re-line the fence to be about here. Now, does that ground... Does that ground need to come down a block, or is it... No, it doesn't. It's uh, it's permanently okay. Cool. All right. So yeah. So I'm going to use this block here as a reference what I want to do, so... Now, I'm going to borrow fairly heavily from the... from the stylings of... Cage. One. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight-ish. Let's just check that. Beautiful. Eight. All right. So eight. 
Alright. Alright. Post. So we'll move those in one block, which yeah, a bit sort of move this one to about how many blocks out of it? So one, two, three, four, five, nine out from the barbed wire. So eleven out from the so nine out from the barbed wire. So one. It's perfect. It's right where that tree is. Well, that shrub, shrubbery. Bam. All right. So that's our new barbed wire fence line. No, not barbed wire. Electric fence line. So. in auger it oh so very close so it's off one Number two so that goes um, cool so that's the gonna be the electric fence line now what we kind of want to do Hmm. Now I'm debating whether to make this integrated. <clears throat> Sorry, folks. Coffee. Um. Just trying to think here. We probably want the. Oh no, we definitely want the walkway in uh, hmm. hmm not sure so basically there's going to be a walkway along here with some poles coming down and attached to those are going to be the blade traps so how we go about doing that and keep the electric fence posts where we want them and make it not okay so you know what that line is going to be the yeah that's what we're going to do all right so that's going to be the fence uh sorry that's going to be the blade traps and then 
two, three, four, bam. Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, oops. Yeah. No, this will look cool. All right. I mean, we're going to dig a tunnel underneath to run the wire for a wiring conduit, but hey, hey. We wanted to do that anyway. So, these ones. So, the electric fence gets moved in. So many posts here. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the electric fence gets moved in to, you know what, that one in, any of these in line? No, of course they're not. Alright, so... Let's work these ones out. One, two, three, four, whammo. Whammo. Yeah, so, right there. Nice. Alright, cool. No, no, this is... make that call when we start digging. Um, but as for now, this is going to rough out where we're going to, how we're going to do this. Little building. Little mound of dirt there, that can go. Why was that a mound that isn't a mound? <laughs> Why is a raven like a riding bird? say concludes our layout for those two sides which is good um, a bit warm poncho time All right, for those of you who missed it we have this cool little tool somewhere up here which I'm Coping's in this box here somewhere. Uh, no. anyway. find, uh, did I not put the? I didn't put the recipe back in, did I? I did. She is beautiful. Hang on. That means I should have shears, because I made them. Uh, I don't know where I put them. I would have thought in one of these two boxes. But that's alright. We haven't forged. Uh, a gas box. <laughs> Guess what it's She is in there. Uh, she is up in here. Uh, we know she is down there. Okay, so she is disappeared, which is interesting. Uh, we don't have uh, 20 forged. 69 forged, dude. 
Beautiful. Craft that sucker. Forge it up in there. Eh, snowberry. What you gonna do? Cotton wind up in there. Right, a minute till they come out. Just dump off some building stuff that I don't want. I want to just make some four floor leg stew blocks. Let's make a hundred of those bad boys. Farming chest there. Uh, let's make some more frames next. Let's make uh, 200 of those bad boys. Um, how are we going for points? 15 points, that's not great. Uh, so we've got all the secret stash. We've got. Uh, we don't want Treasure Hunter, Quality Joe, we're a long way off the last Quality Joe, so you know what, I don't think we're ever going to get to it, well, not for a long time, so let's find out what's in this, we've been keeping this safe for a while, let's find out while we're waiting for stuff to craft, what we would get in this can save. Alright, compound bow grip, nice. Hunting rifle, receiver, shotgun parts, shotgun long barrel. Well, those two bits are very handy because we can make another shotgun turret out of them. Hmm, hunting rifle bits, not so much, but I'd be able to sell them. Oh. Leave that stuff in there. Uh, Alright, cool. Uh, shears, beautiful. Alright, let's get our shears out. Let's just clear a bit of our building site here. Yeah, this is. This was a recipe that uh, mate JC tipped me off to. It's slight mod. Um, it's not OP. You don't get, you know, you don't get a metric. Uh, you don't get a metric butt ton of grass out of it, and it does no damage to anything other than. Uh, I mean, you could eventually dig dirt up with it because you get it takes one one dirt health a hit, but but it is devastating. Devastating to the native grass life. So, in terms of just clearing out a gardening, uh, gardening building area, there is not any other. There's not a better, uh, not a better tool for the job, folks. So, pretty. My aim is pretty bad with it, but hey. Yeah. Those of you that missed the last episode. I'm just going to show you the, the build we started, which we've got to come back and so look at that. That's eventually knock one of those down. Um, yeah. Yeah, I could 
Honestly? Oh, cool, floating trees, nice. Um, I could sit here and do this all day. But you're probably getting somewhat bored. Um, so if you want to go and hit the fence posts like that. Uh, so yeah, the the entrance build, which will just be so what we want to do. Yeah, that's something else. We can do. That's something else we can do. Actually, you know what? It's thirty minutes. We're going to leave this episode. Here. Um, I do want to thank you all for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, please uh, remember to pound on that like button like we pounded on that grass with the shears. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more videos of Seven Days to Die, Subsistence, and all that good stuff. Um, some very exciting, some very exciting things coming to Subsistence uh, very shortly, which is going to be so unbelievably awesome. Um, we cannot wait for that. Um, so yeah, that is going to be brilliante. Um, and comments, please leave your comments. I do love reading them and replying to them. And thank you to everyone who suggested that we keep going. Uh, Adrian, Razor's Edge, all the other awesome folks out there that suggested we keep uh, keep trucking on this world. Um, yeah, you guys rock. You're awesome. Thank you. Um, Anywho, <laughs> thanks again. Later.